A very good morning to all of you. Myself, Professor Dhawal Chandrana, and we are continue our unit number six of data compression subject. Guys, we know that we are learning a mathematically preliminary requirement for the lossy coding, and behalf of that, in our previous lecture, we discussed the third types of quantization is known as non-uniform quantizations. Why the name it's become a non-uniform quantization? We already discussed there are the three different types of a quantization. First one is uniform, second one is adaptive, and the third, which we discussed in previously, is known as a non-uniform quantizations. Guys, as well as we discuss a PDF probability density functions, which is really important to implement any of the lossy coding techniques, and in this particular previous lecture. we discuss one concept is known as a lloyd algorithm and the actual goal of a lloyd algorithm is nothing but to minimize your code book size so they can save times as well as save some memory space and it is possible due to as much as possible to reduce your distortions as well as mean squared quantizations error and how we can reduce it we will discuss in our previous lecture so if you have any doubt regarding a lloyd algorithm compounded process non uniform quantizations or a pdf please refer my previous video we discussed everything about all those concept on our previous lecture so guys today it is just the given some informations about a remaining portions of entropy coding of lloyd max quantizer output so we will complete a today's basis of how to perform a lloyd max quantizer output with the help of entropy coded quantizations so in this lecture we are focus a lloyd max quantizer let's see what is a entropy coded quantizations as well as a lloyd max quantizer output because in our previous lecture we discuss how the lloyd algorithm is work and what are the different property which we need to remember before we applying a lloyd algorithm so previous lecture ni andar apne lloyd algorithm implement karva mate kai panch property je pdf ni hati e yaad rakhvi padse athwa to e vastu ne refer karine apne lloyd algorithm implement kari sakisu e vastu apne gai kale previous lecture ni andar joy lidu chhe to aaj no lecture che e sau short ane sauthi important vastu che ke lloyd max quantizer kai rite help karse apanne entropy coded quantizations ni help thi so let's see first we discuss the entropy coded quantization in previous sections we mentions three tasks selections of boundary value selections of reconstructions level and the selections of code word as previously we discuss the three important concept before we applying any lossy coding first we discuss the boundary value after discussions or after selection a boundary value we discuss a mean value or reconstructions level and the third and important concept selections of code word because these three parameter is must be required at the time of decoding mapping so it is the three important concept we focused on three parameters through which we can implement any lossy algorithm up to this point we have talk about a uh, accomplish of the first two tasks is nothing but to decide a boundary as well as a selections of reconstructions level with the performance measurements begin the mean squared quantizations error msq will be find out and how to find it we already discussed because jare apne koi lossy compression algorithm implement kariye che tyare aa tran parameters sauthi vadare important etle che ke compression send upar athwa to एनकोडिंग मैपिंग वक्त अपनी पास नंबर्स ऑफ सोर्स इनपुट अवेलेबल हे कया प्रकार की रेन्ज है ये फाइंड कर सकसु इजीली एना बेसिज पर आप बाउंड्री नक्की करसू बाउंड्री नक्की थी जाए पीछे रिकन्स्ट्रक्शन्स लेवल इज नथिंग बट द मीन वेल्यू एंड द लास्ट आप जो फाइंड करवा है कोड वर्ड एना गई काले अपने बात करी थी इफ वी रिड्यूस द स्टेप साइज ऑफ अ पर्टिक्युलर सोर्स आल्फाबेट देन वी फेस अ टू प्रॉब्लम first we require a more number of unique code words and the second those code word must be store up to the lifetime so the time require more 
and the memory require much more it is the requirement of code size if we reduce the step size of our source input so that's why we have some solutions according to the input you can decide your boundary levels and based on a boundary you can select your reconstructions level it is nothing but the Lloyd algorithm in this sections we will look at the accomplishing the third task is nothing but the selections of code word assigning the code word to the quantizations intervals because now we have a boundary as well as the reconstruction level now the only task is remaining how to assign a code word that they can require a lesser time as well as require a less number of memory so our particular section in the property about karsu ke jay third task remaining chai selections of code word age south important chai because jo code word to me select karo ama mistake karso to decoding mapping should be a very complex for identifying your closest value if you are not finding a closest value then the distortion should be high and if the distortion should be high then the mean square error it should be really higher we can take a two approach to the variable length coding of a quantizer output we can redesign the quantizer by taking into the account the fact that the selections of decision boundary will be affect the rate or we can keep the design of quantizer the same and a simply entropy code the quantizer output because we know that the actual concept behind the implementation of Lloyd algorithm is to decide or the goal of Lloyd algorithm is to find out a unique code word with respect to less number of time and requirement of less number of space and this thing is happening with help of probability density functions and for that you must be remember all those property which we are discussed in our previous lecture so the entropy coded quantization is completely based on the process to how to implement a Lloyd algorithm and the goal of a Lloyd algorithm let's see a entropy coding of a Lloyd max quantizer output how the output should be generated if you are implemented a Lloyd max quantizer the process of trying to find out the optimum quantizer for a given number of levels and rate is rather than difficult task because we know that encoding process is really easy compared to the decoding mapping because on a decoding hand we never find out the step size we never assumptions take a, any of the range we not find out the exact value which should be closest for the actual encoding process so the given number of levels as well as rate is very difficult on a decoding mapping the easier approach to incorporate entropy coding is to design a quantizer that minimize the mean squared quantizations error that is a Lloyd max quantizer then the entropy code is output because we know that the actual concept about a Lloyd max quantizer is we can reduce as much as possible your MSQU and it is depends on a probability density functions the difference in a rate for the lower level is relatively small for the larger number of level there can be substantially difference between the fixed rate and entropy coded cases same like uh, adaptive quantizations and a non-uniform quantizations we can design our step size with respect to our input value including a noise because if we decide predefined step size then it should be really difficult to identify a number of levels and the rate because every time the input value should be a different or a change so we can't decide a fixed number of size of level as well as a rate of intervals so that's why the concept behind to decide your step size with respect to your input or we can say step size as well as your rate rate is nothing but the compression rate 
सो जयरे आप लॉइड मैक्स कॉन्टाइजर आउटपुट फाइंड आउट करने ट्राय करसू तरह सौ पहली वस्तु ध्यान रखवा आप लेवल ऑफ इंटरवल्स है ये अकोर्डिंग टू द इनपुट्स होइए और कम्प्रेशन रेट के जेना बेज पर आप डिस्ट्रोशन्स फाइंड करता होना अकोर्डिंग आप स्टेप साइट डिजाइन कर सू हम आपने ऑलरेडी कंसेप्ट खबर है कि नॉन यूनिफॉर्म क्वॉंटाइजेशन अंदर स्टेप साइज शू काम वेरियंस आए थे बिकॉज दे आर अफेक्टेड विथ द नॉइस सो वी कांट प्रिडिक्ट एक्चुअल स्टेप साइज और वी कांट डिजाइन अ फिक्स नंबर ऑफ स्टेप साइज विथ रिस्पेक्ट ओवर इनपुट्स सो एवरी टाइम वी नीड टू एनालाइज फर्स्ट इफ वी एनालाइज देन वी केन डिजाइड द स्टेप साइज फॉर द एक्जाम्पल फॉर द थर्टी टू लेवल फिक्स रेट क्वॉंटाइजर वुड रिक्वायर अ फाइव बीट पर सीम्बोल्स बिकॉज वी नो देट अ फाइव बीट रिप्रेजेंटेशन अप टू द थर्टी टू लेवल्स इन अ फॉर्म ऑफ बाइनरी बीट्स हाउ एवर द एंट्रोपी ऑफ थर्टी टू लेवल्स यूनिफॉर्म क्वॉंटाइजेशन फॉर द लापलाशियंस केस इज थ्री पॉइंट सेवन सेवन नाइन बीट पर सैम्पल विच इज मोर देन अ वन बीट लेस एज अ एक्जाम्पल पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू इफ If we define a 32 level for the fixed rate quantizer, 32 level means five times one. It should be represented with the 32 levels of any of the quantizer process. So, if you want to represent a unique code word for the 32 level fixed rate quantizer, we require a five bit quantizer. And some of the example, we take a three bit quantizer. so they can represent your step size with a unique code word but at per the current example if we decide a 32 level fixed size red quantizer we require a minimum 5 bit per sample and if this particular level is a uniform quantizer and if we implement a laplacian case then they can require a 3.779 bit per sample means every step size we require a minimum 4 bit and it is much more than a 1 bit so guys jare apne lloyd max quantizer no output generate karvane try karsu to tena tamne je example aapu che a fixed number of levels api dida che ane jo ene tamare represents karvu hase to ketla bit ni minimum requirements che e tamne ahya mentions kari che ane jo a sample uniform quantizer hase तो तेरे मिनिम थ्री पॉइंट सेवन सेवन लाइन एट एप्रोक्स आप फोर बीट सैम्पल तरीके यूज कर सकी नोटिस दस द डिफरस बिट्वीन द फिक्स रेट एंड द यूनिफॉर्म क्वॉंटाइजर एंट्रोपी इज जनरली ग्रेटर देन द डिफरस बिट्वीन द फिक्स रेट एंड द एंट्रोपी ऑफ द आउटपुट ऑफ अ नॉन यूनिफॉर्म क्वॉंटाइजर एज प्रीवियस लास्ट लाइन इफ वी डिसाइड अ फिक्स थर्टी टू लेवल देन वी रिक्वायर अ फाइव बीट्स the step size it should be a non uniform then the bit required to represent is a 4 means 3.779 it should be a considered as a 4 so the difference between a fixed uniform quantizations and a non uniform quantization difference between representations of 32 bit level it should be one or less than one so apne as a example evu kai sake ke jo tamara sample size 32 level sudhi che जो ये यूनिफॉर्म क्वॉंटाइजेशन हे तो अपनी पास फिक्स रेट से मीनिंग आप फाइव बीट थी रिप्रेजेंट कर सकी जो फिक्स नहीं नॉन यूनिफॉर्म थी आप इम्प्लिमेंट करने ट्राई करिए तो एक फोर बीट रिक्वायरमेंट हे तो ये वे गेप के इट शूड बी अ वन बीट एंड इफ वी कंसिडर एज ए ओनली थर्टी टू बीट लेवल इफ वी इम्प्लिमेंटेड ऑन अ रियल लाइफ देन इट शूड बी अ मोर नंबर ऑफ लेवल्स सो देट्स वाई we require to design a step size according to your input not in base of a fixed rate because as a previously example we compare that if a fixed size rate should be defined then they require a 5 bits and if should be assumptions according to input level or a step size then we require only a 4 bit so it should be difference between a 1 bit or lesser than we just take a example of 32 bit if we implemented a real time audio video or image compressions then should be a larger number of step size and for that we require a much more space as well as time so as per the 
example or as per the understanding of a previous line we assume that our step size is maybe depends on our input value not with a fixed interval and if we decide a fixed interval then the requirement of memory as well as time is much greater than compare with the decide your step size according to the input value so it is the last conclude about a lloyd max quantizer output jo tame lloyd algorithm implement karo cho ane ema tame step size fix rate thi define karso to tamare bahu jaji badi memory as well as time requirement rese compare to jo tame step size tamara input source upar thi leso to ema ghani badi ochi space jose ane ocho time jose so it is the actual comparison to implement your lloyd max quantizer in respect to output how we can design our quantizer level this is because the non uniform quantizer have a smaller step size in the higher probability region and larger step size in a low probability region and due to this we always be implemented a probability based entropy coding of lloyd max quantizer because they are deciding a step size according to the probability and how to find a probability if and if only we have some a fixed number of input and based on input we can decide a probability so the ultimately we can say our step size is depends on input source first we find out the inputs according to the probability we can decide a step size and based on a step size we generate the unique code word and if we perform this process or go through this process we can reduce the number of time for the decompressions we can reduce the number of space for the unique code word so guys it is the today's lecture and the, it is the most important things to understand how to retrieve a quantizer output if we implement a lloyd max quantizer and i hope you are clear what was the actual process to retrieve the quantizer output of a lloyd max algorithm i hope you are clear i hope you are enjoyed thank you so much